And when we started Tesla, the goal was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. And that is, that's what we've done. Tesla has really led the way in with, with electric vehicles, with battery packs, uh, with a lot of solar, and many other companies have, have then followed our lead and done that. And electric cars, which used to be uh, non-existent, are now prevalent. For years, lithium-ion batteries powered the heart of the electric car revolution. They carried Tesla to dominance, transformed the perception of electric mobility, and shaped a new global industry. But in 2025, Elon Musk changed the conversation again. During Tesla's Q2 earnings call, he made a statement that rippled through every corner of the tech and auto world. Batteries are going to be a gigantic revolution. Only a few months later, Tesla unveiled the innovation he had been talking about, the aluminum ion battery. It would first appear in the 2026 Model 2. The announcement hit the industry like lightning. Headlines shouted that lithium's reign was ending, that a new chapter in energy storage had begun. Investors, engineers and competitors all asked the same question. Was this truly the leap forward that would change everything, or just another wave of hype wrapped in promises? Aluminum ion battery technology wasn't new. Scientists had been exploring it for years because aluminum is abundant, inexpensive, and safe to handle. But transforming it into a viable automotive power source was a problem no one had yet solved. Aluminum ion cells were unstable prone to degradation, and limited in how much energy they could store. Most researchers dismissed them as impractical. Tesla, however, saw potential in what others considered impossible. Instead of waiting for perfection, the company designed a system to make it work now, and to make it backward compatible with cars already on the road. This idea became reality through a concept known as CPMI, short for Cross-Platform Module Interface. In simple terms, it's a modular system that allows the new aluminum ion pack to replace existing lithium ion batteries without changing the car's architecture. Owners of Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built after 2021 can upgrade their cars directly. The innovation didn't happen overnight. Since 2021, Tesla has quietly been preparing for it, standardizing assembly elements in its gigafactories from Fremont to Austin and Shanghai. Cooling plates, mounting points, and internal dimensions were aligned so that future packs could fit like pieces of a puzzle. That preparation now pays off. The aluminum ion battery slides into place with precision, like replacing a smartphone battery on a massive scale. The module measures about 70 inches long, 55 inches wide, and weighs roughly 1,200 pounds. Every millimeter of its structure has been designed for Tesla's skateboard platform. This isn't a prototype. It's a production-ready solution. The message is simple, but powerful. You don't need to buy a new car. You can simply give your current one a new heart. This approach touches a subject that matters deeply to consumers, cost. Most people can't afford to buy a new vehicle every few years, but a high-performance upgrade at a reasonable price is an entirely different story. Tesla's system allows customers to renew their vehicles under warranty, with official installation and support. It's a practical alternative to replacing an entire car. In doing so, Tesla challenges one of modern industry's unwritten rules, planned obsolescence. Instead of building cars that age, it builds cars that evolve. The change could shake up the used car market. Imagine a 2022 Model 3 outperforming a brand new competitor. The vehicle's value would increase instead of decline. Tesla is turning cars into long-term technology platforms that grow more capable over time. Just as smartphones receive software updates to gain new features, Teslas can now receive both digital and physical upgrades. The idea of upgrading rather than replacing has finally reached the garage. If the aluminum ion battery delivers on its promises, it could mark the biggest transformation in the automotive industry since Tesla's founding. A new class of vehicle is emerging modular, upgradable, and built to last. What once sounded like science fiction, the idea of swapping out your car's entire power source is about to become reality. And if Tesla succeeds, other automakers will be forced to follow or risk being left behind.
shifting chemistry brings complex challenges. Aluminum ion cells operate at much higher voltages than lithium ion ones, about five times higher per cell. Installing one without adaptations would destroy the car's electronics instantly. Tesla's solution is a multi-chemistry battery management system that automatically recognizes and adjusts to different energy types. It constantly reads voltage and temperature, reprogramming the inverter's behavior in real time. The system works like an electronic translator, converting old power commands into the new aluminum language. What is remarkable is that these adaptations happen through software. Tesla's firmware updates allow vehicles to recalibrate themselves remotely. Within minutes, a car can learn how to manage a completely new chemistry. This flexibility makes every Tesla essentially future-proof. If a new generation of batteries emerges, the same car could adapt with just an update. Hardware no longer limits progress, software does. Safety, however, remains the most sensitive topic. The more energy a battery holds, the greater the risk of overheating. Tesla's engineers addressed this with a sophisticated cooling system. Under each module runs a network of micro-channels carrying coolant, similar to those used in high-end processors. Heat pipes distribute warmth across a large aluminum plate that acts as a heat sink. The entire system is built into what Tesla calls the CPMA sled, a self-contained structure that doesn't interfere with the car's original cooling systems. The result is a battery that regulates its own temperature, preventing hotspots and ensuring long-term stability. This system enables charging up to six times faster than current lithium-ion packs while maintaining temperatures below 45 degrees Celsius. For drivers, the difference is transformative. Forgetting to charge overnight is no longer a problem. A few minutes at a supercharger could restore most of the car's range without damaging the cells. Improvement is not just technical, it's psychological. It removes one of the biggest pain points of electric car ownership, waiting. What Tesla has built goes beyond hardware. It's a new kind of relationship between driver and machine. A Tesla no longer stops evolving once it leaves the factory. It continues to grow, powered by upgrades and updates. What used to require a new model can now arrive through a software patch. It's a quiet revolution that changes how people view ownership itself. When early rumors claimed the aluminum ion pack might cost about $5,000 installed, many dismissed it as fantasy. But now numbers seem within reach. A 60 kilowatt hour pack offering over a thousand miles of range for that price would make the traditional five year replacement cycle obsolete. Why buy a new car when you can triple your range for a fraction of the cost? At first, this might appear to hurt Tesla's sales, but the company's strategy runs deeper. Tesla no longer measures success by units sold, but by ecosystem growth. Cars are no longer products, they're platforms for ongoing revenue through software, services, energy, and upgrades. By keeping owners inside its ecosystem, Tesla ensures loyalty while competitors struggle to catch up. The environmental benefits are undeniable. Building a whole car consumes far more materials and energy than replacing a battery. Aluminum, steel, rubber and glass can all be reused. Tesla's strategy reduces waste and emissions, aligning with the broader goal of sustainability. Instead of encouraging people to throw away, it invites them to renew. This model represents a practical path toward a circular automotive economy. Among Tesla owners, excitement is spreading rapidly. Online forums buzz with talk about compatibility, upgrade schedules, and performance expectations. Drivers see their cars as living machines, rather than depreciating assets. For a few thousand dollars, they can enjoy the thrill of new technology without the burden of new taxes, registrations, or insurance hikes. After installation, they simply start the car and drive away with longer range, faster charging, and renewed performance. Another question. Can the power grid handle faster charging? Tesla's answer is a resounding yes through innovation. Its next generation supercharger stations are paired with massive stationary batteries called mega packs. These units store electricity at night when demand is low and release it during the day for ultra fast charging. Each station becomes a small power plant operating independently from the real time grid. 
Most charging still happens at home, typically overnight. Tesla's system automatically schedules charging between 2 and 5 in the morning, when electricity is cheapest and most plentiful. Faster batteries will continue this pattern. Drivers can still wake up to a full charge, while the grid remains stable. When needed, they can use ultra-fast chargers without straining national energy systems. Looking ahead, Tesla plans to take this concept further. With the new aluminum ion pack's high energy capacity, cars could soon give power back to homes, or even the grid itself, the vehicle-to-grid model. Soon, your Tesla might power your lights during an outage, or help stabilize neighborhood demand during peak hours. Cars would stop being energy consumers and become active parts of the energy ecosystem. In the end, Tesla's aluminum ion battery represents far more than a new material or improved chemistry. It's a symbol of a larger transformation, one where vehicles never age but evolve. The Model 2 is just the beginning of that vision. Elon Musk's predicted gigantic revolution is unfolding, built from aluminum, software and ambition. Tesla isn't merely changing what powers cars, it's redefining what a car is. The next evolution of mobility has already begun, and this time it's designed to last.